Perfect. I think it's ready. So if I had to grade myself as a football manager, I would probably give myself the lowest grade when it comes to tactics, but obviously we've come up with a way uh, to actually test the tactics. So this isn't just going to be uh, me telling you what I think is best. This is going to be the game telling you what it thinks is best. I've tried to improve a lot. I've talked to, in my opinion, the best tactic creator on the planet, uh, which is someone named Nap, who remains mysterious and fundamentally refuses to be interviewed because they're a saint. Uh, but I do talk to them from time to time and work very hard to try and improve my tactical knowledge and up to this point what i'd rediscovered based on my conversations with nick madden who creates uh, the match engine in large part for football manager he's a wonderful guy and that is we go to a 4-2-3-1 it's the rebirth of the attacking midfielders that were so irrelevant in previous years and this is what i'd settled upon throughout the course of my opening save with Aberdeen on Twitch. I stream on Twitch, by the way, if you want to join me in my fourth tier tie team jerseys. I have hit my funny bone in consecutive videos. I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm suing. But the attacking midfielder has come back because of the improved spatial awareness decision-making, the emphasis on playing the ball through the middle, which was intentionally nerfed in FM20 because the defense simply wasn't able to handle it. The defense is better equipped to handle it. You know, not perfectly equipped to handle it, better equipped to handle it. So now you see this type of an attacking midfielder able to get into this position, play through balls, and a lot more play going through the middle. But I'm very aware of the fact that even with all of my tinkering throughout my Aberdeen save and now with Oriental Dragons FC, see in Portugal, which is a real team, by the way. Actually, similar colors to this. I, I need an Oriental Dragons kit. That's the next move. Well, with all my tinkering, I knew that there was no way I had stumbled upon the best tactic. I reserved that for Nap and all of the other crazy people that spend actually all day just creating and testing tactics. And there is a new way for you to do this, which we're going to look at that's going to allow you to test your tactic up against the best tactics in the world. But first, I want to talk to you about an opportunity. This is the opportunity in a lifetime, of a lifetime. It's the opportunity for memes. You, yeah, you heard that right, I promise. Recently, there was a development where somebody created uh, an off-brand Zealand Reddit, and I ended up really liking it and thought it was funny. So what we've actually done is created an actual Zealand Reddit, r slash the old Zealand, and it's going to go live right when this video goes live. And I will review it about three weeks from now, and the person that has the best memes will appear in a Zealand video to describe why, in fact, they have the best memes. So join the Reddit, the link is down in the description, and post away, make your memes, make, it doesn't have to be memes, you can talk about literally uh, whatever you wanna talk about it has to do with Football Manager or otherwise, because you know I'm, I do other things on Twitch and Twitter, and uh, I exist in a lot of places, ubiquitous. Let's look at this tactic tester. So what you need to do to actually get to the tactic tester is you just open up your search window, be greeted by the AI, and then type in FM base. You click on the website FM base, and then you click on tactics. And this is the return of something that was kind of beta tested last season, the FM base tactic tester. Now this is an incredibly complicated database that I, I've been told how it works. I don't really understand it. I'm just the kid in the back of the class going, But the point is, you put a tactic into the tactic tester, and this is linked down in the description, by the way, the tactic tester, and it spits out a grade. And that grade depends on your goal difference and the total number of points that you got in the simulation with every team being exactly average. It's super cool technology. It updates almost every day on the FM base website, which of course I used to work for. And now I work with because the internet helped me promote myself. I really, I don't own FM base, by the way, the people that do are awesome. And we still work together on awesome stuff uh, like this, which they basically did. Uh, and then I get to use to make videos. <laughs> And anybody can upload a tactic. This is not just for Nap, who is obviously dominating the top standings. This is for uh, other people as well. This is for me, all of my tactics. I will put through the tactic tester so that I can prove to you that I at least sometimes know what I'm talking about, even when it comes to tactics, which still make me wildly uncomfortable. You're not alone.
And I know what you're thinking. Well, some tactics work well in a balanced situation, but they don't work as an underdog or they don't work as uh, a better team than most of the opponents that you're playing. Well, there are three different sections to the tactic testers. There's the total, uh, there's the underdog, right? And then there's the sub top, which is a better than average team. The underdog is a worse than average team. So you get tactics that are, you know, better than <laughs> the better than the balanced ones because they work better for your specific situation. This is awesome. And if this whole grid thing just doesn't even vibe with you, you can go to a list. Uh, and this list is, you know, completely scrollable. And you can see the ranking, the points, the goal difference for all these separate sections and find the best tactics. And that being said, let's download the best tactic and look at what the tactical meta for Football Manager 21's match engine is right now. Was that a hiccup? No. What was it? Find out next week on Planet Earth. Narrated by David Attenborough. So if you want to download the tactic, you can click on the tactic. When you click on that, you obviously get a lot more information, which for me isn't necessarily particularly relevant, but it is super, super interesting. Uh, and then you find the download button. Good job, Zealand. And if there's been an update to the match engine, you can just check the date at which the tactic was tested. If it was tested before the update, then then you know. But typically, there aren't huge enough updates to the match engine to make a tactic that was really good really bad. Now, look, I always recommend making your own tactics, right? Because you are never going to be able to download a tactic that matches the skill of the players on your team perfectly, which means a very good tactic that you make that matches the skill of the players on your team is better than the best tactic Nat makes, which doesn't apply to the skill of the players on your team. I want you to understand that. Uh, but I have no issue if you want to download tactics and that's just the way you want to play the game. This is a video game. We're here to have fun. So download it. You're going to want to go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 20. 21 and if you're playing a different football manager uh, then go to that one these tactics will still very likely be effective but keep in mind this is mainly a tool for football manager 21 the tests are done on football manager 21 and then you're going to go to tactics which should already be there if for some reason it's not you have a different filing system or something you can create a folder that says tactics put it in that spot and the game will read it just the same way and then you click save and now when i go back into the game I'm going to hit this drop down arrow and I'm going to load and there's going to be the Venom, Faith, Nap, what, what's a who's it? And I'm going to be able to load that in. And this is the meta tactic for Football Manager 2021 right now. And considering this is a game that's all about playing through the middle of the park in this edition, it's surprising that you're able to leave the center of the park empty. What's not surprising is that there is an attacking midfielder in the tactic, and that even though having attacking wingers was so important in Football Manager 2020 and Football Manager 2021, they're not nearly as important in that way. And the love for inverted wingbacks lives on. This is honestly a beautiful tactic. Nap is the Greek god of tactics. So now that we've made it to this point, we just break down what the tactical meta is in terms of this being the best overall tactic that's been tested so far up until, of course, you submit your tactic to the tactic tester. Uh, and all of a sudden that one becomes the best tactic and we start talking about that one as the greatest thing that ever lived. But what Nap has done here has created a situation where offensively you end up with what is essentially a one, four, one, two, with these inverted wingbacks getting into these positions between the wingers and the deep lying playmaker. That is beautiful. And there's been a lot of love for inverted wingbacks. The issue you might have in trying to apply that particular meta is that inverted wingbacks that are actually competent or difficult to find. What you more often have to do is over a year or two, adapt your right and left fullbacks to play on the opposite side and train them as inverted wingbacks so that they can step in. Another really good thing to do is take decently athletic defensive midfielders and just train them to play as an inverted wing back where their favored foot is on the inside defensive midfielders with decent athleticism uh, work really well in this role because when they step into that spot they can operate out of this center of the park and actually play well but they're very difficult 
to mark. Uh, the Shadow Striker and Advanced Forwards, that is very interesting to me. I would have figured it was more of an attacking midfielder, uh, advanced playmaker type of role, but I suppose trying to get those runs in behind is what's most important. In the two strikers, which you'll notice, uh, and you can really start to look for trends when you're at the tactic tester, right? You have to scroll for a while looking at all these tactics to find a formation that doesn't use two strikers, which will clearly indicate right now uh, that until you get to Dan Wolf's tactic down here, which is a 4 2 3 one so i guess i wasn't too far off that two strikers is the most effective way to go uh, and with the amount of through balls and play through the middle pace is particularly valuable in those strikers that sounds like a dumb thing to say it just means that you know, target men might not be worth their weight unfortunately in this football manager you can still be very successful using them i used one uh, in one a cup in scotland beating Celtic in the cup final, right? Like I was using a target man that whole time. But if you're trying to get the most out of your tactic in the match engine, that's probably not the best way to go. So we have an overlap set here, which is absolutely fascinating. I'm interested to see how this would play out because you have an inverted wing back. You've got nobody that's going to be holding that ball looking for the overlap. Theoretically, the person holding the ball looking for the overlap would be a striker who's run into a channel and you're only on fairly wide attacking width. So that might just be the only way that it's applied. Now, I'm going to give myself three claps because this is exactly how I set up my passing directness and tempo in my tactic, uh, which means I am doing something right. Run at defense, play out of defense is another thing I just always keep ticked. Uh, pass into space. I think that's really just the application of pace here. Uh, and I nap keeps most things under veil. I do talk to them every once in a while to try and glean like, hey, man, what's up, dude? Like got anything for me you know like cast out not really uh, i just really appreciate every time nap takes the time to talk to me i'm starstruck typically <clears throat> throw it long interesting and nap had used to say that distribute quickly should always be on but now in the best tactic distribute quickly uh, is not on and that's definitely something that i'm probably not going to do anyways i'm obsessed with getting the ball out quickly absolutely obsessed but in a wonderful stroke and something that's going to make people feel a lot better, it does seem that you do not have to play a very high defensive line and very high line of engagement in order to be successful. Now, this one obviously keeps pressure on the other team, goes super hard, uh, enforces teams out wide, but you don't have to have a super high back line, which I love. And playing in positive is definitely something that I've fallen in love with as well. In sweeper keeping, ball playing, defending. Somebody asked me if deep lying playmakers were obsolete. Obviously, they're not obsolete. They're in the meta tactic that Nap put together, okay? The Football Manager 2021 has fundamentally changed the match engine for the better, and it's definitely a much improved match engine than the one we saw last year. And I've had conversations with people, namely on Twitter, uh, about how there's still a long way to go in the match engine, and there is. Uh, the defenders still make mistakes that are inexplicable in terms of the way the match engine presents itself. But what I want you to remember is that when you're watching the match engine, it's just trying to present what the numbers are saying should happen. So if your player all of a sudden yeets himself out of the way, that's what the numbers are saying that should happen they just didn't show you it that well so anytime you're about to break your screen hopefully i just saved you a couple of hundred dollars or maybe your screen's cheaper than that maybe it's more expensive that's why i buy ten dollar walmart keyboards we'll check in on the tactic tester every few months to keep you guys updated on the best tactics and trends in football manager i'm like the e-news of football manager oh no